Good evening, Rams, and welcome back from the break. I'm Ryan Christ, filling in for Aislinn Carrillo with the latest updates in CSU Athletics. The Colorado State football team will head to Las Vegas this weekend to take on the UNLV Rebels. Both CSU and UNLV are currently ranked 3-4 and four in conference play and are just a few days away from finding out which team will come out on top and be just one win away from being bowl game eligible. Last year, it was CSU's running game that helped lead the Rams to their 49-35 victory. Running game worked great last year, and it seems like Bobo has recently found that running the ball is also clicking this year. Defensive standouts in last year's matchup with the Rebels were Dante Clyburn and Corey James. Neither of them will be on the field this year as Clyburn is dealing with a medical issue, and James has taken his talent to the Oakland Raiders. However, the Rams can look to their go-to guy on defense, senior linebacker Kevin Davis, to make some big plays. In last week's matchup, the defensive spotlight wasn't only on Davis' redshirt sophomore. Josh Watson also had a phenomenal game against the 15th ranked Boise State Broncos, recording eight tackles and Davis, who accumulated seven tackles with two for loss. Moving on to the offensive side of things, if the Rams play with the aggression that they had in the fourth quarter of their game with Boise, they could take another win to their record. Now that the quarterback, Nick Stevens, has last has last week an intense game under his belt, the Rams can hope he takes all that he has learned and execute it this weekend's against UNLV. Uh, and he'll, you know, hopefully the, he'll practice it well, like I thought he practiced well, and he practiced well today. We'll give him confidence you know, to go out and make the plays on Saturday, because we've got to be able to, you know, to throw the ball. Uh, no, we, I don't remember what the exact numbers were, but we got to be able to throw the ball consistently early. The Rams have had a lot of success so far this season, and with their two wins last weekend, they can remain undefeated in conference play. These two wins had a deeper significance just than adding to the Rams' records. CSU's win over Nevada marked Coach Tom Hilbert's 500th career win here at CSU. It was the final play of the match, and Ram fans anxiously stood in the stands, awaiting the moment in which they could hold up their signs, reading 500 in support of Tom Hilbert's big accomplishment. It was very touching. <clears throat> um, I am I'm proud of what my career has been like here, and uh, I think I have 500 wins because I focus on them one win at a time. One person in particular got to be a part of Hilbert's achievement in a very special way, once being a CSU volleyball player herself and now coaching on the sidelines. It's awesome just to be a part of the history that is CSU and the legacy that Tom has built here. Tom's just a really great person and a really great coach, so to be able to be a part of his 500th win is really awesome. Like just seeing all the fans stand for him, all the players clapping for him, he really deserves it. This place is a great place to be a volleyball coach and people are thanking me after the game for being here for as long as I have. It's, I'm the one that's blessed because this job and this city uh, this university and everybody surrounding the program, this is one of the best places to coach in the country. 500 wins later, and Hilbert first and foremost recognizes his team. I've won 500 matches here, and I haven't served a ball yet. You know what I mean? I haven't hit one, I haven't passed one. That's all done by players, so I should be bowing to them, to be quite honest. You know the legacy Tom has coming here. Um, a lot of people have heard his name. Like coaches back home knew who he was, and being able to, like, keep that legacy up for him and just for everyone else on the team. It's a, an awesome thing in itself. It's a great place to coach. I'm happy I've been here this long and uh, let's get 501. The Rams are now at 501 wins by the end of the weekend. It could be up to 503 as the CSU volleyball team just started its match against Jose State and Saturday it'll take on Fresno State. The Rams defeated both the Spartans and the Bulldogs in all four games of last year with three of these being sweeps. Looking forward to next week, the Rams will be away yet again. However, this will make a quicker trip to Wyoming for the infamous border war. After the loss of pre preparation, the women's swimming team and diving team is finally in season, coming off its win over Nebraska Omaha. The Rams are looking to come out on top again as they face Denver and Denver. The Rams did end up taking the loss last year in the competition with the Pioneers, but with this year's new talent, the CSU can hope to turn things around and keep the win streak going. 
As for the weekend ahead, Colorado State Athletics has a lot going on. With both football and volleyball away, Ram fans can look forward to attending the swim meet this Saturday in Denver, or the tennis match Sunday, which will be held here in Fort Collins. As always, remember you can get the full coverage of all your CSU sports by going to thecollegian.com and clicking on that sports tab. Well, that's the latest in sports, and with Emma, Iannacone is coming up next with entertainment. 